Oh, who are you? Why are you... Is that Cresswold? No. Huh? There's someone waiting here. Oh, it is. What a fine place. Let's make a trade. My smithy for your house, the church and the graveyard. That's an incredibly generous offer, Cresswold, but I'm afraid. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was being serious. I'm not such a complete idiot that I'd, I would want to live and work in, in this dump. Yeah. Um, you're so polite, almost like farmer. Are you brothers by any chance? Haha, <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. I was the smith before his ancestors even moved here. Okay, now you're coming with me. Uh, am I under arrest? There's an emergency in the village. Roderick is gathering all the villagers in the tavern. I'm not a villager. There are vampires in the village, Keeper. And and we expect the first fatalities are just around the corner. Roderick has uh, requested a specialist in the dead. Now go. Okay. Vampires do I have to fight? Please let me fight the vampires. We're late, remember? It's your fault. <laughs> okay, another meeting. Rose, thank you. We all feel your pain. We all know your suffering. Boring. <laughs> that was the third and final of the vampire's victims for today. But only one of us could be the next. But any one of us could be the next to meet him. Chain, the farmer's son. Rose, it's only just the beginning. Villagers, I await your suggestions. Um, uh, not all at once now, please. Cory, your suggestion first. My suggestions? Ah, yes, of course. People, hear my words. One week only, Cory and brother will be available to fix your porch. <laughs> okay. For a 15% discount. <laughs> and as, as a free gift, you'll get a special wooden platypus from Tress. <laughs> Just a self-promotion, shameless. No, that's my favorite toy. Business is business, brother. Um, okay, Adam, let's hear your suggestion. My suggestion is to assign two bodyguards to each villager. A week ago, a band of ghouls wrote some offensive slander on my wall. Okay. Adam, <laughs> it was the village teenagers. I even helped them a bit with the grammar. <laughs> Besides, ghouls don't exist. Oh dear, logger, your suggestions? My suggestion... I can't say suggestions, it's just too complicated. Is for everyone to stop eating dead animals. It's only natural that you'd end up seeing vampires and other nonsense. Fresh roots... Uh, and braced leaves, the secrets to a healthy body and spirit. The village uh, vegetarian. What to turn down candy chicken leg marinated? Never! <laughs> Beekeeper, please don't, don't, uh, don't spit on the floor. Is there something you would like to add? Yes, there is. You people are... <laughs> are you crazy? You're all full of rubbish. Ah, finally some, some truth here. It's all becoming clear. It's the vile doings of my sworn enemy, Horn Hornet Man. Okay. But fear not, my army of carnivorous beasts is nearly ready. Soon, very soon, I will release them upon the village. <laughs> that would be the most kind of you, a beekeeper. Are there any other suge suggestions? Great, the meeting is <laughs> adjourned. <laughs> you, you are all free to go. Wow, what a nice meeting. And I get an achievement, Vampires in the Village. I guess this is just a story update, not really an achievement. Keeper, could you spare me a moment? Yes, I can, maybe I have a better, um, I can kill them all. Listen, might I just ask you, uh, look into all that stuff? It's pretty unexpected, but I appreciate that you confide me. Uh, frankly speaking, I wouldn't exactly say that I confide you, but... But if I ask some villagers, I'd have to give them a huge tax write-off in addition to their reward. So it only makes sense to ask someone outside the village, wouldn't you say? Well, that's the only reason. Yes, absolutely. On the other hand, you're such a kind guy and understanding guy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps you agree to help us. For free? Uh, no, not really. I agree to help for free, no. I'll think about it, we'll talk later. I'm too busy to deal with this. I'm afraid that if I choose this, I, I'm i doing it for free, come on, Heretic, I have, don't have anything else to do. So I hope for a little compassion in the time of uh, our misfortune, but very well. What a greedy rascal, very well, let's go home and think a bit. Okay, uh, find the vampire. Find the vampire. Hmm. 
Do I really have to do some detective work now? The vampire. Who could be a good vampire? I don't know if I have to think logically about this, but maybe I just have to look out for a person who is only out at night. Because I think <laughs> it's common knowledge that <laughs> vampires uh, burst out in uh, flames when they are in the, in the sunlight. But I don't really know who. Hmm. Who's only out at night? I've never seen Snake, for example, being out up in the sunlight. And I've never seen... Hmm. No, everybody else was out in the sunlight before. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know. Maybe I'm asking Snake about it. He just knows about all the stuff that's going on in the village. But how is our... Oh my god, this still takes a long time, this happiness. Okay, so I just saw that we have... Uh, huh? That if we are in the camp and I go into my inventory, I have this uh, resident, the free place. I, s I have this meter here. Refugee camp, zero out of four. And I don't know what, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, honestly. 69%? What? Happiness meter and plus 18%? I don't know how this works, but I guess, yeah, uh, I don't know. I also don't know, maybe if I add something else to eat instead of wine, it will go up quicker. But no, that doesn't really make sense. I think they just want to be, it It just uh, needs some, some food to make them happy. And that's it. Oh, there's uh, the Pete selling guy. It's time to pay for your, for your crimes, you foul creature. Huh? Defend yourself. Shepard, are you talking to me? To you, you vile vampires, prepare to die in the name of my wife and all the other in innocents. Hey, that's kind of funny. You really think I go around at night sucking people's blood? <laughs> How come I'm always out in the sun working? That proves nothing. You could be a vampire mutant. Uh, there's only one way to check. Bunch of garlic. Eat that. What? Raw garlic? Haha, <laughs> he refuses. The fiend give him gives himself away. Oh crap. <laughs> Raw garlic, okay. Uh, uh, are you satisfied? Like my dad, uh, like my old teacher from the Order of Undead Hunters used to say. More! Come on. What? Okay, eat more of this. Uh, raw garlic, I really couldn't eat that in real life. Uh, I hate you. However, if you are a mutant, you might be resistant to the garlic. Eureka, I know what we must do. Take this wooden stake and plunge it deep into your heart. If you die, stop. I have a better idea. I'll find you an actual vampire and then you can cut me a break. Hmm, and if you fail, then you can kill me or I'll eat a whole bucket of garlic or whatever you need. <laughs> it's a deal, but don't try uh, don't you try to cheat me, you bearded whore. His logic is huh, insurmountable. Okay, I don't know what that means. I guess it would make sense to t uh, talk to the victims. Chain, Farmer's Son and Rose. Chain, Farmer's Son and Rose. Okay, okay. Rosa? Oh, I have a debuff. Oh, no, I have a buff. Eaten garlic. Your mouth is burning. <laughs> nice. Oh, I get damage over time. <laughs> okay. Wow. From eating garlic. That's weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's go to the city then. I mean, we need to wait anyway for the refugee camp to, to kind of build itself up. So, uh, Rosa was... Who was Rosa again? Uh, no NPCs. Here's a dot. No, this is uh, Theo. Rosa. Shepard's good. Oh. Shepard's wife. Okay, okay. She's up here, the dairy lady, right? Uh, yes, okay. Hey, Rosa. Uh, about the vampire. Rose, that vampire who attacked you. May I? He drank my blood. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but please, a bit less loud. <laughs> Was it gripping and sinister? I practiced that line for hours. Yeah, you're the best. <laughs> so could you tell me what happened? He lured me into the barn by imitating the sound of a pregnant cow. Then he grabbed me and started drinking my blood, but almost right away he just spat it out. It was like he was disgusted. And you know what? It was even a little insulting if my husband had been home. <laughs> and what happened after that? 
He said, B again, group B, it's just like you're all mocking me. And then he ran away. <laughs> Thank you for your help. I hope uh, your cows have lots of nice calves. Okay, a nice compliment at the end. I don't know, weird compliment. Um, who was the next one? Uh, Shepard? Oh, Farmer's son, right? That's what I remember? Oh, I thought the, the people were dead now and not... Okay, I thought they all just died. About the vampire. Oh, Miss Jane as well. Okay, okay. So let's go to the dead horse again. Maybe Farmer's son is still out when I go. I, I don't think he will still be out at that time of the day. Half HP from eating some garlic. Wow. Uh, Miss Jane. You better talk with my husband. He's in charge here. No, no. I want to talk to you about the vampire. Jane, could you tell me a bit about that vampire? No, I couldn't. I won't say another word until Horadric apologized for his disgusting behavior. Uh, okay, I'll ask him. <sighs> Horadric, what did you do? About apologizing. Phew. Horadric, Jane asked you to say sorry for, for your... Me? Say I'm sorry? I found my wife's love lover in my own bedroom and it's me who, who has to say he's sorry? Just pictured, he looked right at me and then jumped through the window. And now he's insisting that she was merely sleeping and this fellow was a common vampire. Maybe she could be right. Go to her and inform her that I demand an explanation. Okay, go back and forth, do some uh, relationship advice. Oh, come on, <laughs> don't you have someone else to do that? You better talk with my husband, he's in charge here. Nah, no. Uh, explanation, please? Horadric demands an explanation. What, an explanation? Go ask him... <laughs> Why he was returning home after midnight that day? Listen, I'm sorry about your family troubles, but do you have anything useful to tell me? I don't know anything, I was asleep. Very well then, have a good day. Wait, the astrologer knows a thing or two about vampires. He says he was once attacked by vampires about 30 years, years ago. Okay, astrologer say, was yesterday? Ah, <laughs> come on. So if I go to the lighthouse now, uh, lighthouse, no, he isn't here. We gotta talk. We gotta wait another week for the astrologer to come back. Oh, come on, game, please. <laughs> Why do you have to do this to me? I guess we're just going back home in the meantime and uh, go to sleep a little bit and talk to the farmer's son tomorrow. Maybe he can continue the quest a little bit. Oh, my health is full again because I've slept a good night and uh, <laughs> had to recover from the garlic attack yesterday. And my stuff here is ready. Nice, nice, nice. And I saw that. Yeah, I when I use the when I'm using the boost fertilizer, I'm getting the vegetables really quick. I mean, obviously that's the sense of the boost fertilizer, but I'm getting back way less seeds than normally, and that's just not really what I'm trying to do. Can we make some crates again? By the way, that would be yeah, lots of crates. <laughs> I just I'm just making some boxes again. Son of the farmer, you don't even get a uh, no name, you're just the son of the farmer. <laughs> Can you talk to me about the vampire attack? I need to finish my chores or father will be terrifyingly angry about the vampire. Uh, I have some questions for you, child. About the vampire, do you promise you won't laugh? My father, my uncle, all the neighbors, none of them believe me and just laugh. I promise I'll be serious. That night my father and Uncle Miller were drinking Uncle's wheat whiskey. I was home alone and some man came through the window. At first I thought it was my drunk father, I even called out to him. Dad, but he, <laughs> but he, it was like he didn't hear me. Interesting, go on. In a flash I knew it was dead and I hid under my blanket and he, he, I, it wasn't dead, right? He just went away, please don't laugh, everyone laughs at that part. Don't worry, at 15 years old I'd have been scared too. Thanks a lot, but I'm 22. Okay. I need to finish my chores, so father will be terrifying. Okay, that was all. So, now to continue this quest, we just gotta... Okay. We gotta wait for the, the astrologer's day, I guess. Yeah, we really gotta do that. And um, I thought in the meantime, maybe I could uh, build one of these remote controllers up in the refugee camp. Maybe then I can see the meter from here on and I don't need to go up there every time to check it. So I don't really know what I needed for these, um, for this remote control. So now I still gotta go up there. Wow. <laughs> uh, refugee camp. Yes. How's the, 
Camp looking okay too, 41, still not enough. Oh, here's the bar. I don't know how what this means. Um, like that. Oh, we can get new refugees. Then it the, the would go up quicker, more quicker in general. But maybe I'm still waiting for the well. Yeah, that uh, advances the quest. We need a conical flask and one wooden plank. Okay, okay. Hey, back at the camp. Okay, no, it hasn't gone up enough. Oh, come on. But I can build this uh, soul receiver. Boop. Just next to here. Okay, nice. So now we should be able, if we go to the map and click on the refugee camp. No available crafts. Oh, nice. That doesn't even work. Okay. But we have... For example, we have enough for a water well now. And if I do it now? No. Maybe the DLCs don't work together? No, that would be... Why would they add the soul receiver to this menu then? Anyways, we have the water well now. Pew! Nice. A nice little well for our community. Build a well. Um, then I guess we later we can talk to him again. But now it's night time and he hasn't come out yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> but... The total um, capacity increased, and I still don't know. I guess I'm I'm just um, increasing the level here. Eighteen percent. Yeah, I guess I just do that with new new refugees. And I'm wondering what they where what they are going, where they are going with all this. I mean, do I just have to care for the camp? That would be a bad DLC. <laughs> no. But I mean, there's the vampire quest on the side. But still, well, where is all this uh, this story going? Just the vampire! Killed it! <laughs> shoo shoo. Oh, a little fighting. Why can I not fight again ever? Come on, game. Let me fight something. It would, it would be so easy. Just add four more levels to the dungeon. And I would be happy. Every DLC, uh, maybe five. <laughs> five more levels to the dungeon and that's it. I don't need more. Hello, how's the friendship meter looking? No, not the friendship, the... I don't know. Uh, excellent work, we appreciate it, my friend. Especially now when, you, when you've almost run out of fresh water. Glad to be useful. I asked the old servant to inform my friends in town that we are ready to take them in. And just uh, one extra tent is enough, right? I'm not sure there are dozens of people on the Inquisitor's list. Then I'll set up one more tent. That will be good, but we're still having trouble with food and uh, new people will only aggravate the problem. Obviously you need a, a garden for growing vegetables. It looks like there's uh, no problem you can't solve, Graveyard Keeper. Okay, now we have to build a garden. Build a garden, okay. Build one more tent. Do we need uh, more quality for a garden? Yes, fence, fence supplies for the garden, okay, two uh, health thing and one more tent, five, okay, okay. But I guess now we do these things first. Maybe a new refugee at first to just kind of boost up the whole production of this happiness level. And I guess I'm getting the stuff, I mean this is really simple stuff, but still. Uh, 24 flitches, 12 billets, okay, write that down, write that down. I guess it's probably... This guy in the refugee camp. What was his name? I, I just can't remember this stupid MMM. MM, it was something with M. Uh, here. Marquis. Theo. We, we just call him Theo. Theo is probably the vampire. I mean, he's new in the village. He's an aristocrat. I don't know the aristocrat thing, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. That seems vampire-like to me. Um... I'm just getting some peat again. Yes, 80. Uh, let's just get 100. Because I want to do some hops, hops stuff again. I just kind of want to brew some beer. I don't know why. It just seems like I, I would like to do that in real life once. <laughs> and then maybe, yeah, I just want to do it here. That's kind of my, my fantasy here. Uh, can I do it? No, where could I do that? By the way, does Boos have a good... Does Boos have good energy level? I'm just making one of them. Uh, here is the hand brewing stuff, right? Yes. Okay, I would need more wheat. And I have silver. I have all qualities of hops. Just need um, 35 wheat. Hmm. I'm really refreshed and let's just go. Oh, it's raining again. Dark day. Uh, 
to the refugee camp. See how's the happiness going? 2.85. Wow. <laughs> okay. 2.85. That means I'm getting... I'm just getting a new refugee for now. Yeah, I think this will be good for the long run again. And that's it. Okay. But will will the level raise faster now? Oh yes, now it is 27%. Okay, okay. So it really... Theodore's tent. The busy place. The busy place? I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Never mind, they, they are all doing some stuff, okay? Collecting stuff here. Nice, nice, nice. But my wine is pretty... Wow, that's going down pretty quickly, I think. Didn't I have like five rows of wine or only four? Hmm, I don't know. But still, I mean, I still have enough stuff. Take. I can even take water out of here. Wow, okay, then uh, Then the water is never a problem. Okay, buy some stuff of the miller. I got so tired with that, any work to do. Then here is some work to do. Not really, I'm just buying stuff uh, of stuff you. I needed 15 per thing, right? So, 30 and 45. 45 wheat. Yes, for 6. I can't, really can't afford that. <laughs> I really got uh, money. Money changes me. And I think while we're at it, we can also pick up the money from last. Haha, <laughs> from the merchant's crates. 